Lockhart, an executive at a financial services firm in New York City, is set by the board of directors to retrieve CEO Roland Pembroke, who had abruptly decided to stay at a wellness center in the Swiss Alps. At the spa, Lockhart is met with resistance by the staff and Dr. Heinrich Vollmer in attempting to speak with Pembroke. Lockhart leaves, but is involved in a car crash and awakens at the center, supposedly three days later, with his leg in a plaster cast. In spite of the horrendous collision, both he and the driver suffered only minor injuries. Lockhart meets a mysterious young girl named Hannah, who among others, doses herself with a mysterious fluid from small, blue bottles. Patient Victoria Watkins and residents of the nearby town regale a fascinated Lockhart with the history of the spa. It was built on the ruins of a castle owned 200 years ago by a baron, who desired an heir of pure blood and married his sister. Learning she was infertile, he performed hellish experiments on the peasants to find a cure. He succeeded, but after finding the carelessly buried bodies of his victims, the peasants stormed the castle and set it on fire. They captured the baron's pregnant sister and the baby was cut from her womb before she was burned. The baby was thrown into the local aquifer, but somehow survived. Lockhart attempts to escape the center but finds no one is allowed to leave. After gifting Anna a ballerina figurine, Lockhart bikes into town with her help, leaving her in a bar and seeking out a translator for Pembroke's German medical dossier. He learns that the people of the spa suffer from dehydration despite the water they imbibe from the aquifer. Hannah, kept at the spa her entire life, explores the bar and attracts the locals' attention. Lockhart returns and gets into a fight with a man who was dancing with Hannah. He is rescued by Dr. Vollmer, by whom the locals are curiously cowed. Lockhart discovers the transfusion wing of the spa is a front for macabre medical experiments, and that the water from the local aquifer possesses unique properties, toxic to humans, but with life-restoring properties for the eels living in the water. The Baron had devised a process to filter the water through the bodies of humans and distill it into a life-giving essence, Volmer uses the patients as filters for this process. This cure is ingested by Hannah, Volmer, and his staff to gain vastly lengthened lifespans. Lockhart realizes that his leg is now broken and he is being kept prisoner. Volmer subjects Lockhart to nightmarish treatments, warping his mind until he believes he is insane. Hannah perceives this change and gives Lockhart back the ballerina figurine, breaking him out of his delirium, Hannah has her first menstruation, and Volmer marries her. During the reception, he leads her to a secret bedroom in the ruins of the castle and begins to rape her. Lockhart breaks into Volmer's office and discovers Volmer is the Baron and Hannah is his daughter, the baby who was thrown into the well, both have been aging very slowly due to the cure. Spurred by this information, Lockhart confronts Volmer in the bedroom. In the ensuing fight, Volmer's face is revealed to be a mask hiding his hideous burns. Lockhart sets Volmer and the castle on fire, but is overpowered by Volmer. Hannah saves Lockhart by killing her father, who falls into the aquifer and is eaten by the eels. Lockhart and Hannah escape on her bicycle as fire engulfs the center and crash into a car carrying Lockhart's employers, having come to retrieve him and Pembroke. Lockhart tells his employers that Pembroke died and is ordered into the car. Ignoring their demands and muttering he feels better, he rides away with Hannah, eerily smiling as they finally escape the asylum.